Everyone knows about Rudolph, our fleet-footed friend from the north, who lights Santa's way through the darkness as he drives his sleigh back and forth. But there's someone else we should mention. If we want the whole story told, he carried the first gift of Christmas, more precious than diamonds or gold. Nestor was a donkey who seldom laughed to play, 'cause no one ever used him in the stable where he stayed. All the camels teased him and the other donkeys too. They said, "Look at little Nestor. There's nothing he can do. Look at little Nestor. He's got ears that drag the ground." They whispered as they mocked him, but he heard every sound. Nestor's heart was broken and his eyes were full of tears. If only there was something he could do about his ears. One dark night, two strangers gave Nestor a surprise. They chose him from all others, for they loved his gentle eyes. The man was called Joseph, and Mary was his bride. She needed help to Bethlehem, and Nestor's back to ride. They traveled through the desert but hadn't gone too far. When winter clouds no longer let them see their guiding star, but Nestor had a secret only he could hear the sound as the angels gave directions to the ears that rang the ground. Look at little Nestor, he's got ears that rang the ground. They whispered as they mocked him, but he heard every sound. Nestor's heart was broken and his eyes were full of tears. If only there was something he could do about his ears. And so it was that Nestor found the manger where they stayed, where kings and wise men bowed before a baby where he lay. Mary bore our Savior, and Nestor brought them there a gift of love from God above for all the world to share. Though Rudolph, I just love you. I know you don't want it said. Nestor's ears are lovely as a reindeer's nose is red. So children, if you're happy when you trim your Christmas tree, you might thank a little donkey whose ears hang to his knee. Look at little Nestor, he's got ears that drag the ground. They shouted as they praised him, and his friends all gathered round. Nestor's heart grew happy, and his eyes held no more tears. Now all the world knows Nestor for his laughter and his.